Today we talk about the stickler, the perfectionist voice in us. It requires to, for you to be punctual, methodical, have really high standards, 100% cross the T's and dot the I's. I have to think about that one. <laughs> It's very, very self-critical and uh, critical of others and is very judgmental as well. Um, it also is very black and white and I'm the only one that actually knows how it's done properly and it has to go my way because that's the right way. The stickler voice also has you work overtime because you have to fix everything that other people did wrong. So there's a lot uh, of high frustration and disappointment that goes along with it because oh, they've done it wrong again or they haven't done it good enough again. Um, so basically you're in a way waiting for them to mess up the other people. And they also share the belief that uh, perfectionism is good. I mean, who doesn't want to be perfect at all times and therefore it has to be perfect and I need to fix it. This will, however, create total inflexibility. It's very a rigid environment to be in, to work in and to live in. Um, it can also create resentment about, around that person that has the um, perfectionist or the stickler voice talking loud in their head because um, people around you start to self-doubt and um, it creates anxiety in them as well. And they then, of course, have the belief, no matter how hard I work, it's never good enough for you. Um, and that kind of mechanism, the, the stickler voice in the head, usually was created in an unstable environment at home in childhood. Um, in order to create some kind of uh, order in, in the child's head. And also by being perfect, I can stand out as the child. I will be seen and heard. So that could be a trigger. Let me know if you have the stickler and what it's telling you. Drop it in my comment below.